Okay, good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube, Ian of Ben Sion. Today we're starting not only a new parish, but also a new volume in Art Scroll. Significant enough to talk about it. Um, we're starting the sixth parish from Sechus Nazir. It starts on the bottom of Lama Dalam and Aleph, number 34. That's today's daf. Um, I want to discuss um, the first mission in the new parish. Um, the top line of Lama Dalam and Vez. On Lama Dalam and Aleph, we talked about eating, right? One of these sermon does here. Anything which comes from a grapevine. Whether you eat it or drink it. Whether you drink the wine or you eat the grapes. Right? You're chayot. Now for achila, right, the shir is kezayis. Any any shir achila, usually the shir is a kezayis. So therefore if you ate grapes, the amount of a kezayis, or even grapes combined with grape peels and seeds, the shir of a kezayis, you're chayot. What about if you drink wine? What's the shir? So shir for shtia usually is ravia. So... That's what it says on the top of Olam and Dalam Vez. Mishnah Rishona, Omer, Ashi, Yishar, The only way you can chayev for drinking wine, or grape juice for that matter, is by drinking a Revius, which is approximately three kazesim, about three ounces. Kazais is about one ounce. Three kazesim. You have to drink three kazesim in order to be chayev for drinking wine. Bekiva Omer, Afilu Shara Pito Bayayin. They changed. Mishnah Rishona, originally that's what they thought. Meaning, in a case where you dip your wine, in bread, your bread and wine, it wouldn't be chayef for kazayas. Rehiba says, no, there is a possibility with wine of being chayef for kazayas. What's that case? You take your bread, you dip it in wine. Originally, the bread was for kazayasim, let's say, for example. And now it enlarged because you dipped it so much in wine. Now it's five kazayasim. So now when you eat the entire bread, you're eating a kazayas of wine that's absorbed in the bread. You be chayef, even though it's, it's yayin, it's wine, normally drunk. However, since you're eating it over here with the bread, so you hire the kezayis of wine, even though it's wine. That's the halacha. Now, there's a, pro- a couple of problems with this. First problem with this is, who does this? Who sharapita behind? Sounds like it's a normal thing, right? You drink, you dip your bread in wine. I mentioned many times, my little kids, you know, I have a lot of bunch of young kids. They like to make their food disgusting, and they dip their food and throw their food in their drinks and make it disgusting. They don't eat it. No one would eat such a thing. Um, that's one question. The second question, the more fundamental in halacha, is, okay, so now you convert it into an ochel over here, right? You dip the, your bread into the wine. But at the end of the day, you have bread is the ichor, and this is tafel. It just makes the bread taste a little bit like wine. Who says you're chayav at all for this? I mean, ichor of a would tell me that, you know, I'm, it's not significant, maybe, the kazayas of wine. So what is going on over here? So I'd like to explain a different shot. I feel a shara pita b'yayin. If you look, we do shulchan aruch. I do shulchan aruch. Yomi as part of Yeshiva YouTube table enabled. We talked about um, in Hilchas Suda we were doing a couple of weeks ago about drinking during the meal and the words that the Mishnah Bura in the post muse is lishrot meav b'mashke, right? Lishros haochel b'toch meav. Sorry, lishros haochel. Lishros haochel means. Right. Sometimes I drink because I'm thirsty, and sometimes when I'm eating a meal, a lot of people drink when they're eating a meal. They drink, a drink a beverage. Why? Why do you drink a beverage during the meal? I mean, one because your mouth is dried out, but two, it helps to digest the food in your stomach. It helps it first of all go down your esophagus, and number two, in order in order to help it digest in your stomach because you know food is kind of dry to moisten it up a little bit. So, and that's lishrot. So here the same word shara shara pita behind. It does not mean that he dipped his bread in wine. It means that he's eating bread and he drinks wine to accompany the bread. If the guy is sitting down with his buddies and drinking wine, so that's drinking. That's shir is a revius. But here, the chiddush is, Rabbi Kiva is telling you, this is the halacha, that if you're using food to accompany your meal, so you're using wine to accompany your meal, your bread, right? You're having steak and you're having pitas and dipping in trina. That's what I have for dinner a lot. Grill some steaks. Israeli got some good pitas, trina, and you're drinking some wine, good at wine. I buy nice Merlot wine, you know, to accompany the steak because Merlot wine, go, dry wine goes good with a good steak. Um, do not drink dry wine by itself for your Shabbos Kiddush because it's disgusting. You only drink dry wine with steak. I mean, you have to match the colors, right? It's dark wine, a dry, dark wine goes good with steak which is pretty dry but you have to have the steak medium rare so you got the steak medium rare you got your merlot wine i don't know if i recommend cabernet sauvignon maybe for lamb chops you use your cabernet sauvignon that's even too dry only lamb chops which really really have juicy so <clears throat> you got your merlot wine and you're drinking it to accompany the pita that you're eating so here the chiddush is even though technically it's called drinking right i'm drinking in a cup i'm not dipping my bread in the wine 
Nonetheless, since the whole point of my drinking is just to make the food digest easier in my stomach and to go down my esophagus smoother, so therefore, the shear is not a revius, the shear is a kazai, it's a shear of achila, because it's it's kind of part of eating. You're doing it to help you eat. So that's Rabbi Akiva's chiddish. Even though you're drinking wine just in the middle of your meal, just to help the, the bread go down, the pita go down your throat and go down and digest easier in your stomach. So therefore, the shear is a kazai, it's not a revius. According to the Mishnah Rishona, um, they would say, no, that's called drinking. And the shear would only be, in that case, would be a revius. You have to drink three ounces. Which is a chumrah, that even one ounce, a shot glass of wine, if you're a nazir, would make you chayuf because that's called achila, not called shia. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.